Good morning, Granada. I'm Nate. And I'm Chandler. And this is your final El Aviso for the year of 2017. If you're interested in volunteering at this year's wrestling tournaments, sign up in the Counseling Center. This is a great opportunity for community service. If you have any questions, see Mr. Conover. Attention seniors, there is still space available for the Senior Disneyland trip. Be sure to register online with a minimum deposit of $100. For more information, visit Student Services. And now, here's Nerdy News. Hey Granada, in this week's segment, we'll be discussing the best and worst games of 2017, as well as net neutrality. <laughs> One of the best video games of 2017 would be Horizon Zero Dawn. The game from the creators of Killzone, Guerrilla Studios, follows orphaned Alloy as she quests to find the truth about her mom and the cultists. The giant open world game is exclusively on PlayStation. One of the most upsetting games of 2017 was Mass Effect Andromeda from BioWare. Having a lighter tone than the original Mass Effect trilogy, Andromeda is a completely different layout with an open world premise based on exploring the Andromeda galaxy. You can get the game at GameStop for under 30 bucks. The chair votes aye. The item is adopted with editorial privileges granted as requested. Thanks to the staff for your terrific work on this item. Last Thursday, the FCC voted 3-2 to two to repeal net neutrality. This has caused a lot of outrage and fear as to what internet service providers, or ISPs, will do now that the regulations are gone. Some are not worried, but many are panicking that this is an infringement on our ability to access information freely. There are still people out there that don't exactly know what net neutrality is, but are still siding with the latter, that this repeal could spell the end for consumers. Net neutrality was implemented in 2015, and in short terms, is the idea that all internet traffic, which includes the messages sent, the photos shared, videos posted online, are all treated equally. Although many are assuming the worst possible outcome, that ISPs will begin charging consumers based on how much they use the internet, and will charge consumers for certain websites, it will take a long time for them to actually implement this. Besides, the internet functioned fine without this before. It was only two years old, so this doesn't mean that it will necessarily be the end immediately. In short, don't freak out. It's still too soon to tell what will happen. That's all for this week. Back to you, studio. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, Granada. This week is Spirit Week. Good job showing the spirit. The second annual Black and Gold social event will be held at Campo de Bocce on March 17, 2018. Discounted tickets will be available until December 31st. Be sure to buy them now. Now here's QQ. Anyways, so how many reindeer does Santa have? <laughs> Hold on. You know, Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, something and Blitzen, and then is it nine? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six? It's higher. Eight? Higher. Uh, only one uh, important one, that's uh, Rudolph. I, I, can, I can respect the answer. No one, yeah, no one cares about the rest of them. Yeah, Twelve? Lower. Eleven? Lower. I don't know, like eight? No. That's I have no idea then. It's nine. Ten? Lower. Nine? Yes. Why? How many reindeer does Santa have? Ten. No. Eleven. No. Thirteen. Lower. Nine. Lower. Seven. Lower. Five. Lower. Six. Lower. Eight. Lower. I don't know. It's I'm, nine. It's nine. It's nine. I'm just messing with you. I like ten. Ten. How many reindeer does Santa have? Um. It rhymes with, it rhymes with ein. Nine. Yes. Thanks, Tristan. Granada student artwork for the cover of the 2018 student course catalog must be turned in by Thursday, January 18th. Don't forget to buy your yearbook. They'll be on sale today. Make sure to get them before they sell out. Get ready to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. The class of 2018 will be hosting a dodgeball tournament. It will be from January 22nd to the 26th. Teams will consist of eight to 10 players. Registration packets will be available after break. Now here's Slam Duncan. Thanks, studio, and here's your weekly sports wrap. Girls varsity basketball played Liberty High School in a matchup on Tuesday, and it didn't end up going so well. Right now they're two and four, but there's plenty of season left, and they're not even in league yet, so there's still much promise to come. Girls varsity soccer played Amador on Tuesday and tied them with a score of nil to nil. They'll be taking on Dublin High School today in a close matchup. Good luck, girls. Boys varsity soccer played in the Eureka Lager Classic tournament, and they won 
all of their games. Sitting at a pretty record of 8-3, and three, the boys will be taking on Washington High School today. Boys Varsity Soccer played Amador Valley on Tuesday and won by a score of 2-0. They will be matching the girls' schedule and playing Dublin today. They also sit at a record of 3-1-2. Now, here are some highlights from the girls' basketball game on Tuesday. And uh, that's all for this week. Uh, now back to you, Studio. Thanks, Duncan. If you're looking for a great, fast-paced job with various positions, in and out is now hiring. You must be 16 years or older to apply. All seniors, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to submit your pictures and videos to GHS Senior Video 2018 at gmail.com or bring it into room 608. Now here's a new segment called Persistent Paying. It seems as if Christmas is focused on nothing now but mass consumerism in America that people have been blinded by the corporations on its real meaning because they can save a couple bucks on a holiday deal when giving to a loved one. So I decided to go on a search for the real meaning of Christmas to see if there was any hope left for America. I wanted to show people that Christmas wasn't all about the giving, it was more about the thought. Christmas shouldn't ever be focused on buying large bundles of products that nobody really wanted anyways. But what I feared most, I found it was true. People don't even know the meaning of Christmas. What's the true meaning of Christmas? Spend time with family and if you're religious, it has to do with God. What is the true meaning of Christmas? It's all, it's all, to, it's all to debate. What do you think it is? That's a good answer. Jesus came back to life and stuff, it was good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Safe, happy holiday. Instead, I headed to Granada High School in hopes of finding the real meaning of Christmas. Okay, hey, what is the meaning of Christmas, Octavio? Spending time with your family. That's pretty much and it. presents. Yeah. Lots and lots of presents. Family, <laughs> since you asked for presents. <laughs> oh! 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 Alright, what do you think the true meaning of Christmas is? Can I be on camera? No. Be a thug. Alright, since you're such a thug, how about you have this cheese, homie? <laughs> oh, it's being with friends and family and just celebrating and eating pie. Alright, have a piece of wood. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Santa! No problem, Jesus. It's uh, hanging out with uh, our, su <laughs> our supreme leader, David Peng. Alright, I think Santa thinks you're a good boy. You have this dysfunctional toy. Santa! I think the true meaning of Christmas is eggnog. Anything else? No. Are you agnostic? <laughs> Alright. I got you a uh, Starbucks. Oh! Merry hey. Christmas! $2. Merry Christmas, Granada. And back to you, studio. Well, that's all for today, Granada. I'm Nate. And I'm Chandler. Stay classy.